Hello, welcome to lesson 14. Today we're going to practice with finding perimeter, but this time it's of shapes where we don't know all of the side lengths. So yesterday we were doing the same thing with perimeter, but we had all the side lengths. Today we're taking away some of the side lengths and trying to find the perimeter still. So one word I want you to think about today is regular. We talked about this word before. You might remember that a regular polygon or a regular hexagon, a regular pentagon, means that all the sides are equal. So if you hear the word regular, you should have a little alarm going off in your head and you're like, oh, all the sides are equal. Now, if you have a regular polygon, if you know one side length, you know all the side lengths immediately because they're all the same. But there's another kind of shape we can also figure out the other side length, even if we don't have all four. Let's take a look. You might see a shape you recognize up here. This is a rectangle. On this rectangle, I gave you two side lengths, eight centimeters and two centimeters. Now, I only gave you two side lengths. Can you figure out the others? Pause the video and discuss. If you said that the opposite sides of a rectangle are equal, so you immediately know this is eight and this is two, that's correct. So let's label the side lengths that we now know. If this side is eight, opposite sides are equal. So this side is eight centimeters. If this side is two, opposite sides are equal. So this side is two. Remind yourself out loud how to find the perimeter of a polygon. If you said add up all the sides, you're correct. We also could multiply these two and multiply these two and add those together. So your choice of what you prefer. All right, I'm gonna add the eights first. So eight plus eight is what? 16. Then I'm gonna add the twos. So it's two plus two, four centimeters. Then I'm gonna add the 16 and the four. What is that? 20. So the perimeter is 20 centimeters. <clears throat> if you wanna make it clear that that's the perimeter, you could say P equals 20 centimeters. P obviously stands for perimeter. All right. So that's how you find the perimeter of a rectangle, even if you're not given all four sides. Let's take a look at a different shape. Down here, we have a pentagon. Now, if I didn't tell you this was a regular pentagon, would you be able to find the perimeter? No. But good news, this is a regular pentagon. What does that mean? It means that all five sides are equal. So let's solve. If this side is four yards, what is this side? Also four yards. What about this side? Yep, four yards. Four yards and four yards. So we have four, 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 four. Now we could do four plus four plus four plus four plus four. There's nothing wrong with that. Can you think of a faster way? That's right, five times four. Five groups of four equals 20 yards. If you don't like doing multiplication as your preferred method, is it okay if you do four plus four plus four plus four plus four? Plus four? A hundred percent okay. So, which way is correct? Both. Either way, as long as you get the same answer, 20 yards. So, if we want to just make it clear that's the perimeter, we could say C equals 20 yards. 
All right. Now, I'm going to give you one to try without my help. This time, we're going to do a hexagon. So, here comes the hexagon. How many sides does a hexagon have? If you said six, good job. Okay, that's a hexagon. And this side, let's say, is two inches. Now, if I don't tell you this is a regular hexagon, can you find the perimeter? You can not, no. You can only find the perimeter if I tell you this is a regular hexagon or a regular polygon. But I will go ahead and tell you, yes, this is a regular hexagon. So first, find the missing side length, then Find the perimeter, pause the video, and solve. All right, let's see what you did. Did you label every side length as two inches? All right, then to find the perimeter, you could have done two things. You could have done six times two equals 12 inches, or you could have done two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two equals 12 inches. So perimeter P equals 12 inches. Did you get it? If not, that's okay. That is basically your problem set for today. You're finding the perimeter of shapes where they don't give you all the side lengths. Use the tricks I just taught you to figure out the missing side lengths to calculate the perimeters. If you'd like help with your lesson 14 problem set, come to math support at 115. See you later.